So this is Harris Neck National Wildlife Refuge. It's somewhere in Georgia. I don't know where I'm at. But um, this is one of the largest collections of wood storks that I believe is in the world. Probably not, you know, but maybe in the state of Georgia. We came by here last year and there was actually more. So maybe they're just starting up right now. Because last year it was late June whenever we came by. And it's early June right now. But I like that old fire tower back there. I think that's pretty. Whenever we came in January of this year, there was a lot of um, alligators out there, but I don't see any alligators today, but I know they're there. Anyway, they're everywhere. I wish I had a stronger camera. I'd get some really good pictures, but I have to do with what I've got. And they also have cattails here. Whenever I was young, I always thought they were corn dogs. You know, and they're like, don't eat them, don't eat them. So I never ate them. But anyway, it's kind of funny, you know, to see them and remember things that was, you know, whenever you were little. Oh, those birds are beautiful. I just wish they were up closer. But sometimes you have to get what you can. And there's a pretty bird there right there, too. It's not a um, wood stork, but it's something. I don't know my birds the way I should. The only thing I know 100% is a great blue heron, and I know that it's not a great blue heron. So I can say that for a fact, but it's a pretty bird. And you see those storks flying up there in the air. So in addition to it being a wood stork place, it also used to have... You can see the sign showing that it was an airfield at one time, and that tells about it. And you see another runway over there.
that's an old road over there. I don't think that would be the airstrip because it looks like it's been driven down. This over here shows Goose Pond, and that over there is another road. And that could possibly have been an airfield there because that looks paved, don't it? Mm-hmm. So, maybe that was another one. That was paved. Sure. Mom has just pointed out this side is paved as well. So, maybe that was some of the places that they um, landed the planes. That is so pretty. I have to put my long lens back on to get those. Oh, that is nice. This is the other side. It's just as pretty, but it didn't have quite as many birds over here as what the other side did. There's another one of those roads right there. Obviously, you can't drive down them now because it's got a sign up that says no cars. But I wouldn't drive down it anyway because, you know, I don't want to get a ticket for doing something I'm not supposed to. So, if you go back there through that little fence, that should be coming into view it takes you to the water and we went back there in january and it's really pretty back there but i'm not going today because it's hot outside there may be snakes crawling but it's a beautiful view back there and then up here is another little area and this would take you to the location of where the house was at that's no longer there the only thing that's left back there now is a fountain and then another foundation of like like a fountain um but that also would be too snaky today and this was known as thomas landon and if you look right there you can see the fountain that's actually back there we did go through the woods in january to see it so i have seen it so if i remember i'll insert that in the video at this time but if i don't remember it look at it right there anyway, it's some fascinating history about this place. That back there is an old chimney. I really don't know what it's used for. I'm not getting out of the car today, but um, the last time I went back there, there was a Christmas stocking in it. So I thought that was kind of unique to see. It's like Santa Claus came, you know, and dropped off a stocking. <laughs> but it's kind of neat back there.
and this is the entrance I should have done this at the beginning of the video but I didn't but this is the entrance and there's a kiosk over there that gives you the information about place and if you're wondering about a bathroom here they just have this old porta potty but it does what it needs to do if you need to use the bathroom and over there is like a boardwalk and an old fishing area so this is the kiosk and it says welcome to Harris Neck and it's telling the different things you can do while you're here and that's not showing up really well but that's showing the painted buntings and it shows the male and the female and then there's a little booklet you can get that tells about everything that you need to know obviously that I did not say in the video so. and that's about it anyway hope you enjoyed watching thank you for watching if you did see you later bye and one last thing before I go I will show you the water that's where that board walks at up here Well, where the water would be, it's empty right now. But anyway, that's it. There has been water out.